Hello. Can you hear me? Hey. Yeah, I can hear you. There we go. We got this going now. All right. <laughs> yeah, uh, if I have, uh, can you still hear me? Are you still there? Hello. And he's gone. They're coming to get you, Barbara. It has been established that persons who have recently died have been returning to life and committing acts of murder. The unburied dead are coming back to life seeking human victims. And you're back. Yes, I'm back. Oh, my God. What happened there? I have no idea. So, anyway, we're here. We're live now. We are are live. (laughs) Um, If I had one complaint, Podby needs to work on this uh, platform they got here because this is horrible. I know. Uh, well, you know, and it's a trial by error, you know? I mean, you just got to go through it. We were curious. Of course, a lot of people are about doing a live thing. And, you know, unfortunately, it being live with this uh, stuff messing up, it, you know, oh, well. <laughs> That's all I can say. You know, they really, <clears throat> they really need to fix the way that you add other, you know, your co-hosts and stuff. That's well, yeah, I mean, it's... Thing. Yeah, it is. It, they really, really do need to work on that. And I so. don't know why co-hosts have to only join through the Podbean app. Well, and it looks like have, so. if, if people want to call in, they have to have the uh, Podbean app as well. And that's just a pain yes, in the ass for a while, you know. So hopefully we get some people yeah, to just, join uh, us. Well, yeah, I, I, shared, I just shared the link out on Facebook there. So hopefully you know, let everybody know that we are alive. Um, yep, yep. I couldn't get it to play. I can't import theme music. So Oh, oh well. <laughs> so no, no theme music on the live episode. They have, they have some pre-built uh, music, but I don't think I'll be using any of that stuff. So. Oh, okay. Uh, and of course, oh. you know, we have audio effects too. So, but uh, yeah, like I said, I, I just sent the link out again. Try to get some people in here. Um, let me go and throw it out on Twitter also. Yeah, and if we don't get anybody, at least we'll give them one one heck of a show. It's going to be That's funny true. as hell. Here, the recording of hopefully, us. Yeah, hopefully it records. This. Hopefully it records everything. I think it yeah. does. Okay. I think it but I just I imagine that going downhill quickly. <laughs> oh man. All right. I've got a couple of tweets sent out there. Okay, yeah. They went yeah off. So I mean as of right now we don't have any listeners, but uh so I don't know if um how long we should wait before we get into like the the meat of the show? Uh, I guess whenever you're ready. I mean, I would like to at least get some people in here. At least, at least yeah. one more person. We can get one person to come in. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you can uh, you can hear me fine. I can hear you fine. Um, awesome. Okay. Can you hear me fine? Am I too loud or not loud enough? Uh, no, you're you're good, man. You're good. Okay. So, okay. Um, no, we, I I think we should just go ahead with the with the show. I mean, just start it off if you want. Well, I mean, I would hate for everybody to miss the good stuff, though. I feel like by the time <laughs> they get in here, we'll be we'll be doing our our. Uh, you know, where can they find you segment at the end of the show? <laughs> <laughs> They're like, what the fuck? This was all it was about? Them shit. Yeah. I logged in for this. Come on. Uh, but, um, yeah, like I said, I've got the link sent out there. So, 
Okay. I, I, well, I, I mean, of course, if the um, yeah, if nobody tunes in, I'm, this this episode this will be our Wednesday episode. So, well, you know, we'll obviously do some editing on it, throw it out there. But uh, yeah, just like I said, I would like to get at least some people in here listening to us. Yes, sir. I well, we um, I did want you. to I ask just, you. Yeah, go, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, I wanted to ask you. Um, I think we brought it up before, but um, the the Saw franchise might become a series. What do you think about that? I don't think that's going to work too well. Um, and not because of the... I know a lot of people are going to be like, well, because of the gore. But if you think about yeah. the first Saw movie, there wasn't a lot of gore in that one. You know what I'm saying? Like if you if you yeah, really remember yeah. the first one, there wasn't a lot of. Um, I mean, there was some, but it wasn't. It it hadn't become like what they were calling torture porn at that at that point yet. <laughs> we had to get to the the terrible part two, and then once we got through part two, then it became like torture porn. Yeah, I just don't think. I mean, wh- I mean, what do you do with the with a, a series because? Obviously, Jigsaw was the mastermind behind the whole thing, and he's obviously dead. So, I mean, how do you continue that on and make a a story? And, you know, how do you get a series out of it without him? That that that's my only problem. I don't know. I, it, it's it is kind of weird, but you know, they could do it on whatever. I mean, if they want some some gore, they could do it like on Netflix or something. But, well, like I said, yeah, like I said, I'm not, I'm not worried about that. I'm just worried about the storyline. Like, how do you, how do you carry it on after him? Oh, like, who, who's the next person part, to do it? You know what I'm saying? Part one. <laughs> well, and that's what um, the Jigsaw movie was about. It was kind of like passing on the torch. So. Kind of like what yeah, they've I done just, with I all the other it, ones. It, it, yeah, but I think if they're wanting to, if they're just wanting to make a TV show out of, you know, a pre-established property, there, there, there's better ones to grab to do that with, <clears throat> to get like a better story out. I don't know. Yeah, we'll see what the. I mean, it, it, and like I say, it's it's not confirmed or anything. Just like, you know, the Killer Clowns TV show was talked about and Child's Play and all that other stuff. So uh, I think those should just strictly be movies. But I don't know, a Jigsaw TV show or a Saw TV show might be – it might be worth checking out. Yeah, Just no, don't put I on the fucking CW or something. There you go. Um, <laughs> I've seen – I think before that they had announced that I guess um, Chris Rock was working on a, a movie, like a new movie. I guess like a reboot of Saul, but yeah, and that um, that's another. I, I and that's uh, there again. Where do you go with this? How do you? Uh, what are you going to do? Are you going to reboot it, or what are you going to go with this story? I think he was doing a reboot. Oh, okay. Is what is what he was going to do? But I don't know. Don't know. Yeah, I think we have a new listener, maybe. Oh, some, what, someone's listening right now? I believe so, because it says there's a total of three. <laughs> it's you and me, and someone else makes one. Or All makes right. Three. Yeah, makes three. Yeah. I don't know who they are, but I guess they're listening. Um, yeah, so if you're a listener, welcome to the show. We're just, uh, just kind of shooting the shit here until we get some more people in here before we get into the meat of the show. Um, this is our first uh, live broadcast, uh, our first time messing around with this uh, interface here. Um, I'm assuming if you are out there listening, you can, uh, I guess you can type in the, you should be able to see like your group chat, you should be able to type in that, I think, I don't know. Uh, if you are if you have the Podbean app, it has caller one, two, three, four, you know, it just goes through it. So they can just click on that, and then you can join us and and whatever you want to talk about, you know. Right, but or, I think there's I think there's a there's a chat too also that they should. Oh yeah, there. Yeah, you're right. There's a little chat. 
Yeah, so I'm not sure if there's actually someone else there or not. I don't know. It says people on PS says online two total of three. So I have no idea. But uh, we'll go ahead and move on to something else here. Um, okay, what do you got? Now, did you? Well, not to get into the show yet, but did you? Uh, I take it you didn't try to do anything for Black Friday today. <laughs> no, I. Uh... I slept in, had a, you know, in my nice relaxing bed. And then, like I told you, I saw a couple of videos of people uh, throwing hands and everything in Walmart over uh, TV. And someone brought something up that was really uh, funny to me is what the hell are all these people doing with the TVs from last year? I still have my TV from like yeah, three right. years ago. <laughs> I guess what the hell are they doing? Get, I guess if they figure if they can get it at a good price, you might as well, right? What the fuck for? Maybe they're putting it in their bathroom. <laughs> I guess the TV's everywhere. <laughs> it was funny to me when someone mentioned that. I'm like, yeah, what are they doing with them? Like, oh, uh, Ultra 4K now. I got to get rid of this. I mean, I have a, a 3D TV that's, you know, more than five years old, and it still has awesome picture on it and i can see the you know movie i'm watching or show so i don't know no either and of course you know the, the big thing here this thing that the stuff that people don't they don't think about really is you can get the tvs cheaper uh at the beginning of the year let's say when they have their big super bowl sales yeah because that's when the 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 stores are really trying to make some money back and plus, they're also trying to get rid of, you know, old. You know, it's just like with the car dealerships. You know, we're getting rid of our old models and bringing in the new ones. So they sell them. They, you know, you can get them cheaper uh, right before Super Bowl instead of, you know, trying to kill somebody on Black Friday for one. But yeah, I also uh, did not go out today. Of course, I worked yesterday. And yesterday was our Black Friday, so I was handing out. The yeah, TV luckily TV. you didn't have to. <laughs> <laughs> luckily you didn't have to be a part of that mess. No, it was pretty calm. It was pretty calm. I mean, just a lot of people, but there was no flights or anything. So it's pretty good. Mm. All right, so I guess we'll go ahead and move on into the episode. Okay. So, no theme music. But uh, welcome to a podcast from beneath. I am here with uh, Mr. Poe. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm here. That, We're that's be the only first fun part live of show. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be the only fun part of this, or the, uh, the audio effects. I may go overboard with them. Just tell me if I'm being too much with it. <laughs> no, it's great. I love it. It's great. Yeah, that's going to be fun. All right. So how's it going? Yeah, look, going real good. Like uh, like I said, I avoided the uh, Black Friday massacre, and I'm here uh, just chilling out. Had a good holiday, got full, and, you know, ready to do some more episodes. Yeah, I saw you uh, carving up that turkey. Yes, very sensual, yes. I was doing. <laughs> and, yeah, that. That's how you get. That's how it stays moist. You gotta look a certain way. Oh, okay. I'll keep that in mind for next year. <laughs> yeah. No, that's how yeah, I do I it. Yeah. Um, so I don't know what we should start with. Uh, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and jump into uh, week the world news. If you got anything. Uh. Yeah, we can. Uh, I, I thought you were going to go with the tales from Tubi. I've been looking forward to that. <laughs> I'm, I can do that first. I can do a tales. Yeah, tales yeah. I want to. I want to see. I need to get a. Um, I need to get an intro music for all these segments here. You know, we need like a you know tales from Tubi sex uh, uh, opening theme song, and then we need a weekly world news one. So. Yeah, we'll definitely. Uh, we're we're still working on this little project so it'll get perfect one day maybe yeah, i don't maybe. know i'm not making a promise um, yeah so um this week on my tells from tubi um uh, it it's a classic i've seen it before 
but I watched it again, and it was Head of the Family from Full Moon Pictures. Yes, I love. I, I like that movie. That was a good yeah, one. It's written, written and directed by Charles Band. Um, stars uh, Blake Adams, Jacqueline Lovell, Bob Scott. And this was a very, uh, very fun film. Uh, you can't take it seriously, obviously. <laughs> you can't take any full moon feature seriously. Yeah, some of them you can. <laughs> I, they've got some that you can kind of take seriously. But this right here was uh, uh, Lance and Lorita are having a tour de affair behind her husband's back. The problem is that <laughs> Howard is a brutal thug who is bound to catch the cheating pair sooner or later. The two solve this problem. The lovers hatch a plan involving the Stackpole family, a collection of mishappen freaks who waylay unsuspecting travelers and dissect them in gruesome experiments. Unfortunately, things don't go quite according to plan. Uh, yeah, definitely, definitely worth a check out. This was, a, like I said, a classic. I've seen it before, but I decided to watch it again. Well, and you know, I, I've started thinking about this movie. Doesn't she's a hot blonde, and isn't her husband like some big fat biker looking dude? Like yeah, he's not, they, he's not they were, fat, but he's he's yeah he's a, he's like a kind of a bikerish type. Like they're mismatched, right? Like big time. Oh yeah, they, they're definitely mismatched. Yeah, yeah, very good. And, and of course, it's full moon, so it's it's early full moon, so it's got really good practical effects. So I definitely recommend checking out. Very good. Head of the family for free on Tubi TV, and you can download Tubi TV onto your Roku or your Xbox or your PlayStation. But we we prefer the Roku on this show. <laughs> We're trying to get that hint out, Roku. If yes, you're listening, Roku. Roku and Tubi, Tubi TV. If you want to, oh yeah, um, or hell, full moon for that matter. If any of them wants to send us some, yeah, free promotional. Items would be glad to take it. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and get into some weekly world news. With Mr. Yes, <laughs> we are. Yeah, thank you. We are in the supermarket aisle and we're looking at weekly world news. And on the front page, we have two headed blob over Boca. I guess it's Boca Raton in Florida. It looks Florida. Uh, that's all it says, Boca. So Okay. I, I'm guessing Florida. But yeah. anyway, two-headed blob. Watch out if you're in Boca Raton. So I didn't know the blob had a head. This one uh, yeah, head. he never had a head, right? This one has so two. I, that's weird. He had yeah, it, this. World news, so. Sorry, he, she, or it. Sorry, I didn't mean to say him. <laughs> yeah. We don't want to offend no one. And then we have uh, party poopers head to San Fran. Now, why are party poopers going to San Francisco? I thought that place was pretty happening. Why are they going there? They're going there to poop on the party. I guess so. And then we have vegans capture 2,375 turkey eaters. <laughs> and I guess they got a they got a work camp for people that aren't vegan. <laughs> Although I don't know why the meat eaters couldn't overpower the vegans. All they do is eat like plants. Doesn't make any sense. Yeah, I know. <laughs> then we have an asteroid. It's headed for Thompson Deli in Topeka. So watch out. Asteroid. I love a good asteroid story. And now the only headline on this front page that makes any sort of sense, and I actually believe, is man shopping record in and out of mall in 43 seconds. That store must have been real close to the doors. It could have been. What's your, uh, speaking of that, what's your quickest, uh, what's your quickest uh, DMV time? I don't know. Five I'm minutes? Sure, I think my record is like 12 minutes. I've been in and out of the DMV in 12 minutes. Oh, DMV. Oh. Yeah, the DMV. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> well, I, I come from a small town, so it wasn't that long. 
you know, you go in and boom, and you're done. So right, right. Well, probably, probably, probably uh, we have a new we have a listener. Uh, I believe it says Nurse Irene. Welcome to the show. Thanks for listening. Welcome. So that was it for weekly world news. I do want to read another one. There's another okay. uh, headline yes. from a, a different one. Of course, I did share that uh, Bad Boy and Bigfoot are running for 2020, yes. and our buddy, uh, our our uh, our candidate Cthulhu's got some, you know, competition there. So, but uh, I'm going to read this one because I keep seeing it everywhere. It says, "Okay, Boomer, Millennials cancel Thanksgiving." <laughs> So they just went ahead and just did that. They just canceled it. Canceled Thanksgiving. Yeah. And they'll hit the gluten-free food trucks instead. <laughs> okay, I'm down in Texas. There ain't no gluten-free trucks down where I'm at. So I've never heard of a truck. But I have seen I've seen a heard, of, <laughs> heard of taco trucks, barbecue <laughs> trucks. Never a gluten-free truck. Free truck. Ain't gonna happen. And that's all I got for the weekly world news this week. All right. Um, let's move on to our uh, our shout out segment. Um, you got anybody that you want to shout out on some of the uh, social media that we have floating around out there? Uh, yeah. Uh, I'll let you go ahead. Let me pull them up. I'm sorry. I have. I, we were ahead. trying to get this all together, and I have my iPad ready. Now I'm doing it on my phone. Okay. All right. So from the from the slasher app, the slasher app, um, uh, user on there by the name of uh, Poltergeist underscore OD uh, reached out to me. Uh, he actually has a he reached out and told me he that he had a song of that's uh, about the uh, the tall man from the uh, Phantasm, Phantasm movies. Sorry, I was losing my train of thought there. No, it's uh, all, well. That's why I'm here. <laughs> yeah, he said he, he actually sent me a link to it. Uh, he has a video on YouTube. I'll put links to the um, to the video in the uh, show notes, and I'll put it in the chat here too. But uh, it's a really good song. I really enjoyed it. It's a uh, what would you describe it as? A, like a like horror rap? Yeah, horror hip hop, I guess. There you go. Um, yeah, it was nice. Was, it was a, yeah, I was going to play it in the episode, but obviously with this format that Podbean has here, I can't import anything. So um, I will play his song on our next episode, or I'll just edit it in this into this live episode once I post it up. So. Uh, Reggie, I am death directly. Reggie, I will fucking end this. Reggie, 
finished when the game is finished, that's when you die. A part of me of being every tear that you cry. I'll be inside every mirror nearby. Open your eyes when I open the skies. Open your minds, literally. And figuratively. And figuratively. I'm making the killer, replacing the living I'm breaking the niggas and niggas of villains For real, I'm a different breed I'm a give them a different reason And deep in the ceiling Sticking the needle so deep in the tissue It breaches the bone till it reaches the core And it eats through your soul Then I'm tearing it down like pulling the key through the hole Whatever your mind frame, whatever the time frame You're never in my lane, I really get eye break Mr. Scream, never forget my name I raise brows, I sharp as a side blade Lord of the dead, Lord of the dead You can wake up in the coroner's bed This is the hour for mourning and dread Drain all the blood that was stored in his head Lord of the dead, Lord of the dead You can wake up in the coroner's bed This is the hour for mourning and dread Drain all the blood that was stored in his head Yeah, Poltergeist underscore OD on the Slasher app. Go give him a follow and check out his song. It's pretty good. There you go. And if you have your... Oh, yeah. I, was, I thought you had more. <laughs> no, no, no. That was it. Just a no, one. Uh, just one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> No, I'll shout out uh, someone on Slasher that's following me. His name's Travis. It's at Chrome Skull. Horror fan since age four. Grew up watching the big three. Jason, Michael, and Freddy. Spent high school years watching cheap midnight horror packs. I'm glad he follows me. That's someone I can get along with. There you go. So, yeah. And also, I'll shout out Bloody Summer Camp because they follow me on the Slasher app as well. And follow these guys because, man... And we talked about it a little bit before. Um, they're going to have a crowdfunder coming up in January for this very awesome looking slasher movie that Dave Kerr and and uh, Am- Amber uh, Fulcher and and uh, Owen Owen D Young, uh, the whole Bloody Summer Camp crew, they put this thing together. It it looks like it's going to be epic, um, and I'm just going to be shouting this out until it finally gets into my hands, and I'll probably even sing praises then. So yeah, follow them on everything. You can, you can follow them on Twitter, Instagram, all that stuff. But yeah, bloody summer camp. Yeah, that definitely looks looks. I can't wait for that. One looks to be pretty good. Um, <clears throat> I believe we had another another film. I guess the, the writer director had reached out on um, Facebook. I was asking for some support, and that movie was called. What was it uh, called? Red, Summer. Red, Red Summer. Red Summer. Yeah. Red Summer Massacre. Red Summer Massacre. That's what it's called. Yes. Uh, they do not have a crowdfunding yet. Um, I don't, I'm not sure when it's going to start. Um, but they do have, would they have a trailer or like a pitch trailer? Uh, yeah, they have it. Yeah, it's a little teaser that they have out. And uh, we'll share it on the. Uh, Pretty much all. Anyway, uh, it goes right to their, you know, uh, YouTube page, and you can, you know, go from there. And if you follow them on social, you'll get to see, you know, whenever they start posting their uh, Indiegogo stuff and all that. So you can get behind that. And that's what's cool about all these indie movies coming out because they do these Indiegogos and they have such awesome perks with it. Like you get signed, you know, merchandise or you know, get to buy the killer's weapon or, you know, whatever. Yeah, you get the, uh, you get the, you know, DVDs, the, you know, special or some special edition Blu-rays if they have them, posters. It's, it's really cool the way the, uh, the way Indie, the Indiegogo campaign thing is set up for, you know, for filmmakers and then plus for the fans of like independent film, you know, to be able to, you know, chip in five or ten dollars or a thousand dollars if you have it. And then you get something, you know, little in return. Are you there? Yeah, I'm still here. Hello? Okay, I lost you for a minute. (laughs) Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, I'm here. (laughs) 
Um, yeah, but yeah, Jason so that's, uh, that's, Jason Graves cool is Jason Graves. We are having technical difficulties with our live. No. <laughs> are you there? I'm. I am here. All right. Now. Okay. Yeah. So. Yeah, Jason Graves and uh, Bloody Summer, uh, Red Summer Massacre, sorry, and uh, get behind that. Keep up with all their stuff. Yeah, so that's it for that, uh, for all of our Indiegogo or independent films. Um, what I would like to uh, give a shout out to right now is uh, a podcast from my official backing for 2020 uh, is Cthulhu for president. I'm going to drop a link in the uh, group chat here. You can go to CthulhuForAmerica.com and you can find all the information on his plans for not only this country but the world. And you can also buy some pretty kick-ass merch there too. So go go give them uh, some cherry support there. Yes, get behind the dread lord so we can just <laughs> so we can just end everything and you know I I love bad boy I really do but no the we need we need a we need a strong hand in the office it's got to be Cthulhu so the way it can't be I think I'm getting a little bit of feedback there from uh, coming out of your headphones and back into your mic Oh, okay. Sorry. Of, uh, repeating, and I'm repeating what I'm saying there. <laughs> oh, yeah, you have an echo. Yes, a little bit of an echo. Uh, I I had to unplug my headphones, so I'm I'm away from it now. Yeah, this is a uh, this is a uh, top notch show we got going on here. Oh man, uh, very very professional. I love it. Now, now I understand why we only have the one listener. <laughs> <laughs> and this is why we record, pre-record it. <laughs> yes. Um, so have you seen far. anything new lately? Like no. I, well, I, well, new to me, um, I remember I was telling you about the, uh, I believe it was 1987. It's a movie called Scarecrows. And um, I watched that not too long ago, and it's an interesting movie. And, of course, it has practical effects, which I love. And the scarecrows that they had uh, in this movie look pretty pretty wicked. I liked it. I liked how they looked in this movie. And uh, the kill scenes, classic 80s, you know. But they did it right, and I enjoyed the story. So, yeah, I, re- I recommend someone... You know, watch Scarecrows, and I believe it was on Prime, but I believe it's also on Tubi as well. Yay, Tubi! Yay, man, they got everything on that thing. They do. I love it. I love Tubi. They have so much stuff on there. And then I, I told you I watched another movie. I think it was from 2013, and it was called uh, oh, Playing with Dolls. Yeah, it's playing with dolls. That, that's the one I was gonna look up. But on Tubi, it's called Metal Face. Metal Face. That makes sense at all. Well, he he has a mask <laughs> and just like oh, like barbed wire around his head, and it. You know, of course, I saw it and I was like, Metal Face. Okay, I'll bite. And then I found out the real name of the movie. And see, that's that drives me nuts. And I think it does a lot of people whenever. You look up a movie and it's called something else. You look up Metal Face and then sometimes it don't even have. You know what I mean? Like I, I was looking for Metal Face or something, and then the first thing that popped up was playing with dolls or something. I'm like, what the fuck is this? I mean, I'm trying to find Metal Face so I could read into it, find out the cast and all that stuff. So I I hate when a movie has more than one name. <laughs> it just drives me insane. Just about as bad as whenever there's two versions of a movie that came out years apart. 
like deathbed. <laughs> yeah, like deathbed. How are you going to name a, a movie Deadbed and say it's a remake and it, it's not even a remake? It's not even anything <laughs> remotely close to the 1970 version, which I enjoyed the hell out of that. I really did like that movie. It's ridiculous, but it's that's the kind of horror I like. You know, I like watching stuff like that. Oh, yeah, the old one's definitely better after I watched it. Yeah. <laughs> and the new one, it, uh, we won't go into it. We did an episode about the two deathbeds versus, for, you know, versus each other. So check that out. If you hadn't listened to it, it's funny as hell because the beginning, you see where the mix-up happened, and I think yes. that's hilarious. I don't think there was anything else like recently that I've watched that I would want to talk about. I mean, I'm watching stuff, but I don't know if they're worth talking about. <laughs> it's always worth talking about. All right, then, uh, then everybody has to check out <clears throat> The Cauldron Baptism of Blood. You can find that on TV. TV. But I really wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> you know, ever since I, we, I think we've known each other for almost a year now, and anytime I see a movie that has something to do with witches or Satan, I think of you. Yeah. Well, thanks. Yeah. I'm like, oh, that's a witch movie. I bet Carrie's seen that one. <laughs> oh, that has something to do with Satan worshippers. I bet Carrie's seen that one. Yeah, that's really the only thing. I mean, there was some, there was, there was some there bunch. Was a bunch. Man, I'm getting really Man, bad. I'm getting really bad. <laughs> you what? I guess we're going to put your headphones. Yeah, I unplugged them. My audio, My audio is coming out of your speaker, speaker back, back into your mic. mic. Oh. I can hear myself. I can hear myself. <laughs> is that better? I don't know. Let me talk. Yes, that is better. Okay. Yeah, but what I, what I was going to say was there were some movies that I had started to watch, but for some reason just could not finish because they were so bad. Oh. Uh, one of those being uh, Thanks Killing 3. <laughs> Which I attempted to watch last night. I just couldn't do it. I couldn't get Think, couldn't the whole thing. Thanks Killing 3, you have to be pretty high to watch that movie. Yeah, and I'm just guessing. Just I, mean, I, you know, I, I don't. <laughs> there's some funny parts in it. I'll give it to him. And the camera, you know, the cameras they used were a lot better. And. They did pay a little bit more attention to the the detail of the killer turkey, but just it was just a wacky ass story, man. I mean, I I I don't know what I expect from you know a killer turkey story, but <laughs> the first one was funny, and this one they just added so much stuff. Like, why did they have to have the grandmother a puppet? Why did they have to have a grandmother puppet? I didn't get that. I, don't know. I didn't understand why they had a bunch of puppets in it. Uh, but let's take a break from that real quick because we have a uh, a new listener just dropped in. Uh, I don't know what this name is, but it's V D B B D N. So if you're not a bot, uh, send us a message in the chat there. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> to prove you're not a robot, to you're, you yeah. have to do Capacha. Yeah, pick all the pick all the pictures that has a that have a crosswalk. <laughs> you know, yeah, sometimes but, I see those and it's like, hey, pick pick the pictures with a bus in it, and then there's a picture where it has a stoplight, but you can see a bus in the background. I'm like, is that? that do they yeah, want me to click, click that? that all right, so yeah, they reply back. They are not a robot. Congratulations oh, for not being a robot. Uh, Yay! Th- and thanks for thanks for uh, tuning in to our <laughs> horrible. First live broadcast. <laughs> yeah, we're. I think we're being too hard on ourselves. We're not. You know, this is our first one, so we'll get it down. We promise. Yeah, hopefully, eventually. We'll Maybe I don't know. Yeah, our next one will be better. <laughs> yeah, that's that's really it. I, mean, I hadn't really watched anything else new. Um, I guess um, new. Uh, our listeners here. Did you guys have a uh, exciting Black Friday today or? Witness anything crazy at the Walmart or Target? 
Can you just give us a reply in the chat there if you did? Well, like I was telling you earlier, I've seen videos already, and these these guys were in the candy aisle, and they were tackled by, like, five or six cops. I'm like, what are you fighting in the candy aisle for? Like, well, I can tell you if it was at Walmart, they probably had other products down that aisle. <clears throat> Like yeah, yesterday, I, we, I, yesterday, we, yesterday we had all of our uh, DVDs, Blu-rays, and video games down the drink aisle. So it's kind of weird the way they do it. Yeah, that is weird. Okay, so they were wrestling over something that you could probably stream. <laughs> probably, yeah. I doubt they were I fighting over a Charleston Chew. <laughs> <laughs> they even still make that? I believe they do. I've seen it. They do? Uh, oh, well, shit. Yeah, we are seeing it around. Um, so, anything else new, uh, movie wise, TV show wise? Just something I, else that we can pad this episode with. Yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> hey man, I watch a lot of stuff, and uh, I've been really enjoying the uh, Watchmen TV show. I got caught up today. I was two episodes behind. I really like what they're doing with this story. And it, it's just it's it's just interesting what they're doing with it, and um, I, I don't want to ruin it for anybody, but I I, I do want to say give it a chance and watch it. It is they they touch on racism a lot in it, and of course it's uh, one of the characters. Um, he comes from that time, you know, back in you know the thirties, forties, all that stuff. But um, it's a it's a good storyline, and I like what they're doing. And you get to, and I got to find out why, how the hell, an old man in a wheelchair hung uh, a guy up in a tree. So <laughs> it's it's weird. Like he he kept telling the chick, "I I did it. I hung the chief of police." And she goes, "What? How can you? You're in a wheelchair." And then you get to find out this last episode I got to find out. I was real excited about it. I was like, holy shit, that's neat. Yeah, I can't wait to so. check it out. Like I said, I'm not, um, I don't have HBO. I already have too many streaming services as it is. So I probably won't, won't be picking up HBO Go Now streaming thing, whatever it's called. So I'll probably just wait for this one to uh, hit uh, like Blu-ray or something and check it out. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, and... Like you said, there's so many out there, and they just keep bombarding us with it. And I still haven't watched Disney Plus. I don't think I'm going to anytime soon. But I have friends that have watched The Mandalorian. That's the only thing that kind of interests me, and they say it's great. So <laughs> yeah, I've heard nothing. I've heard nothing but great things about Baby Yoda. So. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, Gizmo was first. Damn it! Yeah, like I don't even want to watch it now because everybody on Facebook ruined it for me. Oh well, and Facebook tends to do that. Yeah, it does. Um, the other show I'm watching is, and it's already it's it's been out. I think I think it came out earlier this year. But anyway, it's a uh, Nos Feratu on uh, Shutter. Nos Feratu, Joe Hill, uh, based on yes. book, Stephen King. So. Yeah. And I, I am enjoying that. That is a that's a neat show, especially if you're a fan of you know uh, Joe Hill's work or his dad. You know, I think people should check it out. Now, is it? Uh, I haven't read the book. I haven't watched the show yet. I get the name. I know what Nos. You know, of course, it's spelled different. It's N O S four A T U. I think is how they spell it. But is so? Is he a vampire? Is there a vampire character in it? Uh, Yes, and it's a different take on it. It's different. It, it's it, it's just a crazy show, man. It's a it, it, if you like stuff like that, and and you want something different other than the traditional vampire, then yeah, watch that, watch that show. And I like what they're doing with it. It's really cool. So I don't yeah. want to ruin nothing. That's why I'm being kind of vague about it because <laughs> we don't want to spoil stuff on here. Right, but it's um you can stream it right now on Shutter, correct? Yeah, on Shutter, uh, it is on Shutter. Yes. Okay, so I'll definitely have to start watching that one. 
And I'll tell you one thing. I am looking forward to Eli Ross History of Horror Part 2. I'm waiting for that shit. I want to see it. When is it supposed to come out? Or? I think it's supposed to come out fairly soon. Because I rewatched uh, Part 1 again. Because I, I, I like hearing the behind-the-scenes stuff that people... Uh, you know, the, all the stories and stuff about mm-hmm. our favorite movies and some of the funny stuff they point out. Um, but yeah, part two, I'm, I'm kind of curious to see what they're going to say. So. Yeah, definitely sounds interesting. Uh, I know that um, for our Shutter fans out there, uh, I don't know the date or anything yet because I didn't research it, but uh, I believe that the, the last drive in, with uh, Joe Bob Briggs is going to have a Christmas special. Yeah, the, I think like he had Shutter? a. Is it like a twenty-four hour streaming thing, or was that the Halloween one? I think that was just the Halloween one. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I like watching it, Joe I mean, Bob show. He does a live show on there, though, right? Is it live when it first comes on, or is it all pre-recorded? I think it's all pre-recorded. See, I, thought, like, I could I be thought, mistaken. I the specials were live, like the Halloween and the, the the upcoming Christmas one. I thought those were live. They may not be, though. I don't know. Well, if it is, it's a hell of a lot better than our live thing right now. Yes. <laughs> but they're not using Podbean live. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, our movie this week was uh, a recommendation. From our co-host, who oddly enough didn't join us this evening to talk about his movie, which I find damn weird. you, Billy. <laughs> no, <it's- laughs> no, this was uh, from 2014. It's a French horror film called Among the Living. Uh, three kids skip school in order to explore an abandoned film studio lot where they catch sight of a woman being dragged across the lot by a masked man. That's already not true, but we'll get yep. to that later. Um, <laughs> directed by Julian Murray and written by Alexandria Bustillo. I know I just butchered those names, but we're going to go with it. Uh, Mr. Poe, what do you think about this film? Um, I really enjoyed watching this one. Uh, camera work was good. Um, the the problems I did have with it, if you already kind of pointed that out, or the description of the movie. <laughs> I was looking for the masked character, <laughs> but um, it, I guess they they focus on the the smaller part. Whenever you read the description, three kids skip school and they go to a bended studio lot. I thought it was an old carnival. I didn't think it was like an old movie studio. Yeah, something there was something mentioned in the in the film that gave that away that it was a an old film lot, but I don't. Remember oh well, it, what it was. It it looked like an old uh, rundown carnival, but um, yeah, and they're focusing on that, which really the story isn't about <laughs> three guys skipping school and they see it. That's just one part of the movie. I guess that's their way of not giving it away. I don't know. I guess. I mean, there's really not much to give away. I mean, obviously, they didn't see the woman being dragged across the, the lot. They found her in the trunk. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, yeah. you know, anyways. Um, yeah, this movie was... It was kind of... It was a different film. Um, because the opening... The opening really... Whenever you watch the open, when you read the description and you watch the opening, you're just like, "Okay, where is this going?" Because the opening is completely different from that, right? Yeah, it is. It, it you have a uh, you have you know a pregnant mother in the kitchen. She's got the you know the husband sitting in the living room. Now there's some there's a broadcast on TV and. I guess it flew over my head, but was what's the deal? Like, it, was there like an explosion or something? I, I don't get it. I it was believe, like what I got from it was I believe that the guy that's in the chair watching the TV, I believe he's ex-military. Okay, there was some kind of chemical that 
the I'm assuming the French military, since this takes place in France, I don't know. I'm assuming they use some kind of chemical that you know in you know in battle or whatever, and then it and it had like these effects on these on these on the soldiers, um, which you know I guess made this guy crazy, and then it made his you know his offspring you know uh, what's the word. I guess uh, mutate? No, not mutated. Yeah, we'll go with yeah. Not what's the what, what do they call it? Whenever <laughs> someone uh, born with a physical disability, I guess we'll call it or something like that. I'm assuming. Yeah, I would right. say I would say mental. No, you know what? Yeah, yeah, you're right. He's not. He's not mentally disabled. We anyway. Um, go ahead. <laughs> this think, movie's just uh, weird. I believe that's what that was alluding to was because that's why and then of course you know he's I'm assuming he's crazy also and I guess she's had enough of it so she proceeds to beat him in the head with a baseball bat and then now she's going to go kill their kid and I'm assuming that you know the kid I can't remember the kid's name right now um Clarence his name was Clarence and it doesn't it doesn't show the kid, but we're assuming that you know there's something you know physically wrong with him. Yeah, because uh, you just see him behind that plastic. Yeah, like she she freaks out. Curtain. She when she freaks out for no reason, she runs up the stairs. I'm like, what the hell's going on? Like she just lost it. Like I guess she's just tired of him, and the reason everything's messed up is because of this person she says clarence so we're like okay is that like their roommate or something and it's actually i guess we don't really find out it's her son until the next scene right like she goes in and tries to kill this it was because it's a room in the house that looks like a kid's room so I, i just assumed it was the kid well anyway she goes that shit crazy beats up the husband with a baseball bat and she runs upstairs yeah Starts slicing the son. Uh, what's his name? Well, I just said his name. What was it? Clarence. She starts slicing him up with a butcher knife. And then she... Uh, well, that's when the husband comes back in. Because I guess he survived his beating with the baseball bat. And uh, stops her from killing Clarence. And then, uh, of course, she's pregnant now. And she stabs herself. In the stomach. Yeah, uh, which was crazy. Um, but then the, the husband leaves, right? And he's carrying the baby. Like, he cuts the baby out of her stomach. Right? I believe so, yeah. Um, so, I'm wondering if the the kid that she was, that she was slicing up, I wonder if she killed that kid. And then the baby that he has is our character later on in the film. And that that's what's weird about this movie. It kind of jumped around a little bit. And then I was confused. You know, that, that part confused me. I'm like, okay, that's this crazy family. I thought, you know, they were just going to murder people or something and turn it into this whole thing. And you, like you said, the dad takes off with the kid. But... Then they then they go and they focus on this other family and they're normal, you know, and they've got their normal lives going and all that stuff. Yeah, because they immediately cut to um, what was it a, a classroom, right? Yeah, they go to the classroom with the son, the one of or a different kid. Yeah, see, I was I, immediately. I was thinking that that was going to be either Clarence or that baby grown up now, and I thought that's what we were going to be following, <laughs> right? Right. This, yeah, you know, that's what growing up, but it's it's not. That's what confused me about it. I was trying to follow it, and it, I, I, I was like, okay, what now? Why are they focusing on this kid? And then, like you read in a little, you know, tagline, you know, or synopsis of it. The, the kids skip school and they go to this abandoned, I'm going to call it a carnival. It looked like a carnival to me, like an abandoned carnival. It didn't mm-hmm. look like a movie lot. 
Yeah, the um, yeah the three kids that we meet. Um, it, the, immediately, this movie started giving me like a. For some reason, I started getting um, Stranger Things vibes. But if all the kids in Stranger Things were like real assholes, <laughs> yeah, because these kids are like. I mean, they, they, they burn down someone's barn just for the fun of it. And I'm just like, I can't, like, you, you know, you're not winning me over here. I'm not going to be able to, you know, get behind these kids here and, you know, feel sorry for them if something happens to them because you're damn assholes. Yeah, you're supposed to, you're supposed to kind of like the characters. <laughs> and then you're bit. like, these little yeah. assholes are causing all sorts of trouble. They're burning down barns, they're breaking into things. Yeah, but I guess, so, you know, so when they go to the, I, I'm assuming that, like, the guys live there, but, you know, this is the father from the beginning. He's lived there in this film studio lot, you know, for a, for a while, at least. Um, but I didn't understand, like, I mean, I know that in the beginning, whenever he's leaving, you know, with the baby they just cut out, um, you know, he mentioned, you know, we'll find a new family, you know, somewhere else. So I'm assuming that he's having um, Clarence go out and kidnap women to bring back, I guess, to be the new mom, I guess, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, that's that's <laughs> what I got out of it. No, and what the what the fuck was with the, the gas mask? Why was he wearing that thing? I don't know. Did was I miss had, that? He had the ram horns. Yeah. <laughs> It was like he was running like some sort of satanic cult or something, and it had a ga- yeah. was it I mean, gas was a gas or it was a weird mask he had on. Yeah, that was a gas mask with like ram horns on it, but that plays like a big part later. <laughs> so I guess yeah. this was the setup for that. I guess, yeah. Mask. Um, well, let me ask you this because whenever I was researching this film before I watched it, um. A lot of people were saying that it was like really gory. And I remember Billy saying that it was really gory. And I don't remember a lot of gore in this one. No, it the only gory part was uh pretty much towards the end when he had that wicked freaking what was it, a sword that was all curved? Not like an Aladdin sword, but it was all rusted and shit. <laughs> it, wasn't, it wasn't a nice sword. <laughs> yeah. But that's the only gory scene in this, you know, just going, you know, um, the character development. I really, you, uh, I, 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 cut out, you, you cut out there for a second. We, we lost, we lost your audio there for a second. Oh, no, that's <laughs> fine. Damn you, Podbean. Um, <laughs> hold on, no, hold on. It, uh, hold on, I'm not for that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, you know, just going through this movie, like I was saying, the the camera work and everything is good. Um, the characters, like you said, you kind of you kind of kind of like the characters. Like I, I really didn't give a shit about this kid and his little family that he was part of. You know, like they didn't really go into them. And then, of course, the bad people, whenever they go there and they these kids break in and the dad sees them and chases them out and tells the son to go find them or they're going to bring people back. I, well, I don't know. Either, but uh, <clears throat> before we move on there, we got a new listener. Uh, welcome baby girl. Uh, we are currently talking about the movie among the living from 2014. <clears throat> but yeah, when it comes to the gore, there wasn't a lot of gore. Like I said, there was the, at the beginning, the wife, you know, she's hitting the guy with the baseball bat. It just shows blood, nothing major. Um, and then, uh, of course, it shows her. She swings the knife at uh, Clarence, and it kind of goes in between his fingers. But that mm-hmm. wasn't too impressive. And I've seen that before. Um, yeah. And it was- then, you know, of course, she stabs herself, and, you know, he, we, they show, you know, after he cuts the baby out or whatever. And then from then on, there's nothing until the end. <laughs> Whenever, like, the one kid's dad gets killed, and then, you know, we eventually get to, like, the cops. Because they don't really show the other two kids, you know, being killed. I don't, I don't know why. 
this does seem like the this seemed like the type of movie that if you're gonna have um young characters die, you would have it on screen. <laughs> yeah. Well I, of course they gotta be careful with that, showing, you know, kids getting killed or whatever. Well this isn't an American film, so they can do whatever they want. Well, I guess. Yeah, I've seen some foreign stuff that pretty rough, but uh what about uh, the, the cop that g- hello <laughs> Uh, yeah, <laughs> second time that film has showed up on the the show <laughs> or mentioned. Review it now. Yeah, we got to review uh, it now. No, I've <laughs> no, I don't want to review that one. Yeah. I don't want. I wish I didn't view it the first time. I don't want to review it. Um, yeah, but, so the, uh, the best kill, the best kill. The, again, it wasn't even gory. Was whenever the cop gets his. Uh, his face chopped off with the uh, the sword. Yeah, again, that was it, cool. Again, it was to me. It looked CGI. It may have been practical. It happened kind of fast, but again, I like I said, this this movie just didn't have a lot of uh, gore in it. Or, or I was probably expecting more because of the way it was built up. But yeah, uh, there's a lot. <laughs> There's a lot this movie made me go, huh? What? What? Is, why are they? You know, they they wanted to avoid people showing up, but he sends his psycho son to go out there. And now, why why did he have to roam around naked in the house? I don't get that. He was fully clothed and all, and then now he's naked. Chasing people now. I don't know. I don't know. I'm trying I don't to remember why he did that. <laughs> I'm trying to remember why he like. Did he show up that way? Did he no. show up the house naked? Or he had he like his. Up? He took a coat off after he got there. I guess. <laughs> I guess so. It was like, what the fuck is this dude doing naked now? Why is he running around the house naked? Everybody well, out, before, of course. Well, before Tall we get to that. Guy. Thing, yeah, before we get to that scene, there was the uh, when he's when he's killing off the other kids. Um, of course, the the other weird part too is these kids burnt down a farm or a barn, right? An entire barn burnt down, and they almost killed a guy. He was gonna like that one kid was gonna chop his hit in the face with an axe, and then they then they proceed to burn his barn down. Um, yeah. <laughs> And whenever the cops arrest them, they just like take them back home, like drop them off. Like, oh, here you go, that's your house, you know. Or we taking you. Know, the one kid goes to a gas station. I guess it's where his dad works. Um, the other kid's family, they're out in the middle of a field, getting ready to do, uh, you know, watch shooting stars. I'm like, how did the cops even know that they were there? And then of course they take the other, they take the other kid home. Uh, the third kid that that they take home, he is a. Uh, his parents are so upset, but they're not going to miss the the opera. Damn it! Oh no! You gotta make that. <laughs> you gotta make that opera. Yeah, but they have. Uh, he has a babysitter, um, and of course, you know, there's a. I don't know the scene where he's watching TV and she's on the phone, and then she's like, "Okay, it's bedtime" or whatever, and then for like for no reason at all, she starts talking about all the stuffed animals that he has. She's like, you know, you got a teddy bear and a rabbit and a clown. And he's like, well, wait a minute. I don't have a clown. <laughs> and that's when they get up and see that the the clown mask that our killer wears is there in the in the stack of, of uh, toys. So he pulled an E.T. is what he did. Yeah, kind of. But he's not there. Yeah. Just the mask. Oh, just the mask. <clears throat> so oh, okay. That, so that's probably why he's naked by the time because he's leaving clothes at every stop. <laughs> On the way to the last kid's house, but it kind of didn't make sense because he also calls uh, the house phone, and then when <laughs> they when they go downstairs and get the phone to call it back, now it's ringing to a cell phone that's inside that mask. And I'm like, ah, that doesn't make sense. There's no way he got in and out of there in time to do all that. So, yeah, it just it was kind of weird. Yeah. Um <laughs> I'm trying to think of what else to say about this movie other than that freaked me out. It didn't make sense why he did you know, why he was running around like that. And uh, you know 
killing the kids. Okay, yeah, people are going to notice that. And then he, I think he kills the babysitter too. Yeah, he, he kills, kills her first because the kid goes runs back into his room to hide under the bed. <clears throat> and he looks over, he sees her laying on the floor. She's dead. And then, like, yeah. you, can, you can tell that somebody sits on the mattress. You know, the the the, the box springs are, like, bending down. And then the mattress, he just flips it up. And then, I guess, I'm assuming stabs this kid through the box spring. I'm not for sure. Because they didn't show it. This movie's <laughs> supposed to be, like, edgy and gory, and they don't show kids being killed. Yeah. Like even when he goes to the next even when he goes to the next kid, which is at the garage, when he kills the dad, they don't show that either, do they? No. Because it's because I guess I'm I'm assuming that dad, you know, beats the shit out of this kid, so he's in the bathroom cleaning up blood off his off his face. Um and when he comes back out we just the dad's just laying on the floor with the clown mask, you know, just kind of lay on top of his head. So, yeah, I mean, just they didn't have, there wasn't a really good death scenes for me in this one. Not the, yeah, especially the way it was built up and, you know, told to me about the. <laughs> <laughs> Our non existent Billy, if he's listening. Yes. <laughs> he better not be listening. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I I don't know. They I it seemed like they tried they tried to do something with this, and it really could have been a lot better. Like you said, if there was a lot more, um, you know, killing scenes, you actually got to see what happened to the characters instead of saying, "Oh, well, they died," and then you see the babysitter; she's laying on the ground, and somehow her top is not there anymore. It's like, well, how'd that happen? Like, what is what is he doing? Like he's just killing everybody around there, and their main goal was to capture the kids so no one finds out about them. And he's right. over here slaughtering a whole neighborhood yeah. with people that will be noticed dead. Right, and I don't know. So I'm at, like when I when I was watching the movie, I was kind of thinking, okay, I kind of get maybe they're doing like a um, instead of. You know, a bunch of teenagers going to the woods and being killed by someone. Then they're kind of doing the. They all go to the woods and go camping, but they escape, and now the slasher killer is like, you know, hunting them down wherever they go. You know that type of thing. Well, what I think they should have done, what I would have done, is just had where the kids couldn't escape, like where they were at like they, they were trapped in this this uh movie studio and this killer chased them all through there instead of taking it to this neighborhood where he's trying to get them there right. i think that would have been a lot better movie like get all the tra- like have traps in there and you know then the parents are like we're kids and then they end up in the the craziness of it all i think this movie would have been a lot better if they did it that way yeah, but see, I just I don't think it was I don't think what they were going for was a a slasher. Film. I think they were trying to do a more I'll say like intelligent <laughs> version of a, a slasher. You know what I'm saying? So I don't I don't think they were going yeah. for get as many people in here in here to kill as possible. You know. They were, they were yeah, but they could have still made it. Story behind it, which they failed at because I still don't know what any of that stuff at the beginning was. Well, they could have still made it intense if it was in this place where, you know, traps and everything were instead of just having it in those houses. Yeah, but then you turn it into like Saul or the Collector. You know what I'm saying? Well, better to rip off that than what they did. <laughs> That's just my opinion yeah, so on it. Kind of, yeah, but so yeah, because he kills. I mean, he kills that one kid's dad, and then he kidnaps the sister. The get the kid's little sister. He kidnaps her. Um, so now the mom and the kid are like going there. You know, they're going to go there and try to rescue her or whatever. And then the uh, the cop. Yeah, yeah, the two cops are there also. Because <clears throat> I guess she had called nine one one after they escaped. Um, because I think they put like uh, 
didn't they have a was there there an infant that he put oh yeah yeah, he, yeah. Put it in the, uh, he put it in the washer. he put the infant in a washer and they were trying to get it out I remember that and that that's when he was that's the first time we see our character our slasher um without his mask on fully unclothed and I'm trying to figure out if so if that was the same kid that the mom was cutting up, that would explain the that would explain the scarring. You know what I'm saying? Because she was slicing with a knife. And that would explain some of the missing pieces down below there. But if it's not, then that means that that was that was the, the baby that he'd cut out of her stomach. And he's just, you know, deformed from whatever kind of gas that the dad was exposed to. But I don't know. Because they never really said <laughs> Too many gaps. Yeah. It was... Yeah, because like I said, when they get there, you know, like the the, the son, the mom, I don't know what the, I don't know what happened to the infant. I'm assuming they put it somewhere else. I don't think they, or did she bring it with her? No, the mom, uh, when they escaped. When they escaped the house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they grabbed the baby. Out, so we're not, we're like missing what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, they grab uh, the child, the baby. They get out with it. Okay. <clears throat> no, I was asking if they took the baby to the uh, to the film. Oh yeah, they did. The they film did. Lot. They did. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yes. Stupid. But yeah, so it's so it's her, it's the kids, the infant, and the two cops. Um, they go there to rescue the girl, and uh, what is the kid just chained up or tied up somewhere? Yeah, he was. And the, yeah, no, the uh, the little girl, the sister. I'm trying to remember. I'm thinking she's just like chained up or tied up, and the brother just like unties her, and they're running out. But then I want to say there was actually something that kind of freaky that happened where, like, our killer is just standing there in the background. We don't really see him yet, right? But was that on this scene? Yeah, he was He was there in the background. But you don't really notice him until he moves. Right? Yeah, he's kind of hidden. Yeah. Yeah, so he's like chasing out, and then that's when the dad comes back in. And we're talking about the dad from the beginning of the film with his gas mask with the ram horns. And now he's throwing out like smoke bombs, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Which he is did. why he has the gas mask on. Like I they set that in the beginning. I guess that's how they done it. But that, oh, don't understand why this gas from these, from these uh, uh, gas smoke grenades are making people. Cough up blood. But then I started thinking, okay, so maybe that is the same gas he was exposed to. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. No, I, I hear you. Because like they were all like they were all like puking blood and throwing it in like coughing up blood. And I was like, I don't think that's how gas I don't think that's how, you know, smoke bombs work. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> but uh yeah, so like the cop ends up shooting the the other woman that they had hostage, uh, and then it's kind of weird because it was just like I said, it was just a lot of smoke, and you really didn't know what was going on. And of course, you know the what was it? The dad had the sword, right? Yeah, that weird sword that he had, where he got that cop <laughs> cuts the guy. It's not even the whole face; it's like from under the nose, you know. Angled back towards the jaw there. He fucked him so up. Basically, yeah, maybe his mouth got cut off. Um, and I think the mom is like going to try to shoot. This one, see, this was like the other weird part that I didn't get. Uh, because he goes to stab somebody else and he misses, and he he ends up stabbing Clarence, right? Mm-hmm. And now this is where the mom has the gun. And, like, she hesitates, like, because this guy's just like, you know, okay, don't, you know, uh, you might, you know, my bad, sorry. <laughs> you know, now that now that I'm going to die, I'm going to, like, 
you know, trying to plead for help here. But he mentions that he's like, you know, you don't want to don't kill him because he's he's only six years old. That was the weirdest thing ever. Like, so that's why I couldn't uh, figure out if that was the <laughs> the impact from the beginning of the movie, or if that you know the gas that he was exposed to that's what like it slows down some kind of. Or speeds up, the, you know, their their growth or something. I don't know. It was weird. No, and look, and that was the funny part to me is like, oh, well, don't don't kill me. He's like, what? Well, why not? You tried to kill everybody. And then he's like, he's just a kid. Well, he's like seven feet tall, and he just murdered a bunch of people. Why not yeah. kill him? <laughs> yeah. So the son the son ends up grabbing a gun and shoots him in the head. And for some reason, they let that go. He gets escaped. Yeah. yeah. Why? <laughs> well, before that, there was another scene that I thought was kind of weird out of place, too, was um, the kid standing in front of a window or something, and the cop shoots, or somebody shoots the glass beside him, and it goes to, like, slow motion, the glass, like, blowing, you know, blowing up and, like, going into his face. And so, I don't like. Like why did you? Why did you do that? <laughs> that would the, we didn't need to see that in you know slow motion and all dramatic and stuff. It was it's kind of weird. Like I said, this movie is just all over the place with different things that, um, you know, from stylizing glass just flying in the air to don't shoot my son after he just murdered everyone in your family, you know, <laughs> and then they let the dad go. Yeah, which is weird. So after that, um, after this is all done with, we you know it cuts to the our, our you know our the, the, our final kid. Uh, I guess he's at the grave of his two friends, and he has glasses on, you know, because he got glasses on. Us. <laughs> <laughs> so now he has to wear glasses. Um, but whenever they go, like, so then I didn't think about it when he was there at their graves, right? These two kids, are, they were just friends. They weren't related, but somehow they're buried right beside each other. <laughs> they had matching things. It was weird. But I didn't think about it much then, but whenever they go to his dad's grave, it's like in the middle of the woods. Like, this is not a, like a cemetery. This is just, you know, there's just one. Oh, it's on their it family land. Maybe. I don't know. Kind of weird. Though. We bury them on but our own weird. land. Yeah, I don't, I don't, yeah, uh, that was weird. But then it cuts, you know, we obviously, it cuts back to the, 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 the dad from the beginning of the film. Now he's like got his head shaved and he's sitting like in a, an apartment somewhere and he's talking to somebody. I don't know who's talking to, but he says, we'll start a new family somewhere else. And he puts his hood on and gets up and like walks towards this woman who's car- pushing like a baby carriage. Roll credits. There we go. <laughs> so I have no idea. This, yeah, this was. Uh, I think this movie may have been one of those. Um, they're trying to be too artsy and trying to have like hidden meanings. And when I watched it, I wasn't mentally prepared for all that. I was expecting a dumbed down, gory, hack and slash, a lot of deaths and nudity, and I wasn't ready for this one. Um, but I don't think I have the capacity to sit down and watch it again to, to try to get more out of it. No, and I thought whenever you told me the title that we're going watch, you know, I mean, uh, zombies. I, yeah, where my mind went, zombies. So of it zombies. is misleading. Among yeah. the living, uh, what do you? So dead. Were, well, it could also be. Chemical, uh, I guess it could be. The dad was all chemical up. He's shooting weird it. sperm. Yeah, I don't. I don't. Uh, that's why I didn't get. You know, the name of it didn't match what was you know what you're right. expecting. I'm with you. Well, I couldn't the sit one there. trivia. The one trivia. The one trivia that I have for this film will should explain all that. Uh, though the title was generally uh, listed as Among the Living, a more accurate translation would be In the Eyes of the Living or Through 
the eyes of the living. Still sounds zombie. So I would say it's just, it's just. Well, I mean, not really, not not the through the eyes of the living, but I mean, I don't know. But uh, yeah, definitely. I mean, if I'd have been in a better, uh, maybe not as tired or in a because I did doze off a couple of times <laughs> watching it. Um, I probably may would have appreciated more, but I just don't. I don't think I would. The the, the three character, the the three main characters, the kids, were they were annoying. I uh, just really I didn't care if they died or not. I was like, well, whatever, you know, because they weren't they just weren't likable. And I just didn't. The beginning part of it just didn't. None of it really tied together for Mm-mm. me. I don't know. Maybe I'm just stupid. No, no, no. no. <laughs> I, I, I'm not brilliant by any means, but I was the same way. I was. I I felt that is exactly how you felt about this movie. Like I, I, you're losing me. Where, where, where are we at now? Why are we doing what we're doing? Okay, you know, it, it just like you said, it was just trying to be something, trying to get a message across or something. I don't know, but yeah, I, I everything you said, I agree with. Yeah. Well, hopefully, hopefully, other people can get more out of it than what we got out of it. <sighs> Um, but uh, Information Movie Database has a rating for this film of a 5.4 out of 10. Uh, Mr. Poe, what are you going to give this? Film? I'm going to give it a 3. And that's because a guy got his face sliced off with, with that weird looking sword. <laughs> Very interesting. Yeah. Um, I believe I'll give it a 2. And I'm going to give it a two based on the, what do I call it, uh, the penis any. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he didn't have an Audi down there. He had an, he had an any. <laughs> you know, God bless. You know, I, I, I applaud the man. I mean, if you're going to do a nude scene, probably, you, you ain't got much. Probably make I eh, Or maybe CGI. I don't know. They made it look pretty I'm, small. I'm sure, I'm sure it was prosthetic. I'm sure it was prosthetic. I, uh, well, I would want a different prosthetic <laughs> if I was the, if I was the actor. And well, that. I think that's what we're going for that. Yeah. I think that was part of the the, the deformation that he's supposed to have. Or maybe his mom got it with the butcher knife at the beginning. Uh, if that's the same kid, who knows? I didn't, yeah, exactly. We don't know what kid was what, so... Yeah, Look forward to the sequel, helps. though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so um, I wouldn't recommend this movie, but hey, it's out there. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I watch it on uh, Shudder. So if you have Shudder, check it out. If not, I wouldn't bother like trying to track it. This no. Outside of no, and you don't even have to. Don't even pay for Shutter just to watch it. Watch something else. Watch uh, if you go on watch Shutter, watch that movie. Watch creep, huh? Watch creep show. Yeah, or or the baby. The, the baby is on there. Oh, the baby. If you've never seen it, yeah. All right, <laughs> it's an older movie, but it, it's new to Shutter. Yeah, I, lo- I love the older movies though. So, all right. So, this being our first live broadcast we had a bit of problems at the beginning (laughs) Uh, just trying to get us started uh trying to get both of us in here uh some audio issues of course we have audio issues all the time even on our not live broadcast um but you know we had some listeners uh nurse irene's still here with us so thanks for staying through the whole thing there uh, you know, shout out to everybody else who joined us there. I can't remember what their names were. They're gone now. But, uh, yeah, I, I enjoyed this. Uh, hopefully we can do some more of these live episodes. Uh, this seems like this could be pretty fun um, once we get the kinks worked out to be a little bit, uh, run a little bit smoother. Yeah, and the kinks aren't really our fault. I mean, <laughs> it, it's the... Yeah, I mean, can, they can definitely work on Yeah, it. They, they can, but... <laughs> Uh, like you said, um, thanks for everyone that you know came in and listened to us a little bit. 
And um, yeah, hopefully we'll do another live one and it'll be a little bit better. So, yeah, of course, like I see, you know, this show here, I'll take this audio, I'll edit some stuff out, and this will be, you can, you, know, you can find this on our pod being uh, Wednesday, the, uh, the non live version of it. Uh, so, uh, Mr. Poe, where can they find you on the internet? I'm just going to point everybody to the direction of the wonderful website that Mr. Kerry Vickers built. And that's 1313inc.wordpress.com. Go check it out. Oh, yeah, you One-stop shop. You get to see everything we're involved in. And, uh, you know, we got some other good podcasts or kind of good podcasts. One of them, uh, Poe and Grin Podcast. I'm a part of that and uh, beards and brews. Beards and brews. I repeat it there because you're cutting. Out oh, the sorry. <clears throat> uh, yeah. So yeah, definitely check out the website. You can get everything. All the episodes are there. Uh, link to the store is there. Uh, just all the information. And uh, like I said, this um, episode, we'll have it up Wednesday. Uh, Another user to listener just popped in there, Violet. How you doing, Violet? Um, we're just wrapping this one up here. But like I said, you can catch, we'll edit this one down and have it posted up on Wednesday. And uh, hopefully we can do more live episodes in the future. So, Mr. Puff, you got nothing else? No, that's it. All right. Well, thanks to everybody who came in and listened to us. And thanks to everybody who's going to listen to us on Wednesday.